Hi guys, Wandersun here. Before we start, if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe so as not to miss the great news that is coming here on the channel. This Pi Black Box project was a study to prepare me for the creation of an even more modern and customizable user interface than the Pi Dracula. This is my first project here on the channel using custom widgets, which as you will see in the video opens up countless possibilities using only Qt widgets. This project has custom tooltips that are displayed when the mouse is over the left menus, opening a pop-up like Discord. It also has a customizable status bar where the user can change the current status, as well as write a new personal message. This message and status are changed using the signals existing in the Qt tools. Custom buttons were also created that have several new parameters such as user image, status, unread messages and description, also having the active status that makes it change color. When clicked opens a new custom widget that is loaded into a stacked widget. In this project I created a simple script just to create a simulation of exchanging messages in real time. If you want, you can use this project in the real world using a database and connection via servers. This project will be launched under a license from MIT, where they can use it for studies and commercial projects, if they so wish. And you can also implement new custom widgets for functions that don't exist yet. This project has a custom widget that allows you to resize the windows on any of the application's edges. As it is just an example without a database, once clicked on a new chat the messages will be reset. Included in this project is the main window, the login window, and a widget for the message area. This login window I made a project that after the progress bar reaches 100% it is dragged upwards where the login fields appear. And in the main window there is only one base of the application, separating the menu bars and pages. Whenever creating a project, create a draft first, this will help a lot in the development. In this project I drew using the Inkscape program. This project has a differential from the others that have already been created here on the channel. This project uses a JSON file to configure the interface. This choice was made because it is more flexible to work with and is a standard today in modern projects. In future projects we can even customize the theme using JSON. This project has several custom widgets and the intention of the new project will be to create the entire interface using custom widgets, so that we can create much more modern projects with incredible resources. I reused the project from the previous video where we created a circular progress bar using a custom widget for this login window, and added new functions like this one for login. When the user types the wrong data, the window is shaken and a pink border is displayed in the selected field indicating that the wrong data was entered. When the login is successful, the username is passed to the custom widget in the upper left part of the application. And these are the new features of this interface, which with custom widgets we are able to create a beautiful project like this when done using Qt Quick and QML files. This project is available with early access for Patreon supporters and everyone on June 1, 2021. And to finish this video I would like to remind everyone that on May 1st the user interface Pi Dracula will be available to everyone on GitHub. Our new project will be even more modern than Pi Dracula and this project is only possible thanks to Patreon supporters, with your help I can dedicate more time to all of these projects. Soon I will post more news about this new project, and as it is something more complex and refined, it may take more than two months to complete, but I will keep you informed. If you can't help being a Patreon supporter, subscribe to the channel, leave your like and share it with your friends so that you also don't miss any releases. Thanks to all Patreon supporters. See you in the next video.